My spirit is ready. I feel the ruach so heavy. I eat the word like an Eddie. My tongue is a sword. I will make me a Jamaican. I slice two demons like machetes. I'm yelling, repent. I What's up my beautiful sunflowers? I am Key with Scott. Welcome back to my channel where I help uplift, encourage, and inspire others on how to be made in his image. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. And for those of you who are subscribed, welcome back. In today's video, you guys, I'm going to be talking to you about fasting and the importance of fasting as a believer. Um, so first off, many of you may wonder, well, what is fasting? Um, why do we fast? According to Google, fasting is a spiritual discipline that is taught in the Bible. You guys, there are so many different stories in the Bible about fasting. We know that Jesus himself fasted for 40 days and was tempted by Satan. Um, there are so many different disciples who have undergone fasting. And so that is why it is so important for us as believers to fast as well, because we are imitators of God. And we look to Jesus as our big brother, as the way to life. And whatever he did, we too have to be able to do as well. So um, it says, Jesus expected his followers to fast. And he said that God rewards fasting. Fasting, according to the Bible, means to voluntarily reduce or eliminate your intake of food for a specific time and specific purpose. Fasting is found throughout the, the Old and the New Testaments of the Bible over 50 times. So that tells you right there, it is something that we are supposed to do in our walk with God, in our walk with Jesus Christ. And I don't know if you guys do consider Jesus to be your big brother, or if you consider him to be King of Kings and Lord of Lords, but however you wanna look at it, he is the example that we are to look to. He came to show us the way. He came to literally show us how we're supposed to go about living our daily life. So if he fasted, we need to incorporate fasting into our spiritual walk as well. So why fast? A lot of us may fast because we want to draw near to God. We may feel like that, you know, God wants to get closer to us and that God may be calling us to do something and we're trying to hear him more so you fast another reason why we, we may want to fast is because a spiritual leader or pastor may be calling you or leading you into a fast anytime i fasted in the past it was usually because our pastor called the whole church to do a 40-day fast and um then i started doing fasts on my own to where whenever i just felt you know like it was needed I would just start fasting on my own also if you're called to do a corporate fast so if you're in ministry and they're telling you okay well everybody needs to fast that is an act of obedience in acts chapter 14 verse 23 it says and when they had appointed elders for them in every church with prayer and fasting they committed them to the lord in whom they had believed psalms 35 13 says david humbled himself with fasting so of course if you want to humble yourself or a lot of the times in the old testament they fasted because of grief so anytime they were in grief they would also fast too and they would like tear their clothes in grief so that could also be another reason if you need clarity on an important decision and this was number one for me on why i wanted to fast you guys when you fast you get such clarity from God. You don't have all of those distractions. You're not distracted anymore. You have nothing but you and God. That's all the time that you get, you know, that stuff that you used to do and put ahead of God, it is no longer ahead of God. So you get so much more clarity. So if you're looking for clarity, um, like on a decision or to hear from God more, fasting is definitely the way to go. Another reason why is if you're wrestling with like um, some type of demons, like if you're wrestling with, you know, watching things that you shouldn't be watching or you're struggling with lust, you're struggling with fornication, you're struggling with adultery, then you should definitely be fasting. If you're struggling with like, you know, fear, you should fast because a lot of the things that we go through in life, not all of them can just come out through prayer. A lot of the times, certain spirits can only come out through fasting and through prayer. So the two mixed together is something that will bring a lot of deliverance in your life. So again, if you're looking for deliverance, then that's definitely something that you should consider doing, fasting. If you're feeling spiritually tired or you're feeling drained, I would highly recommend you guys to fast because a lot of the times, 
um, in our walks with God. We feel very bogged down. We may feel very tired. Uh, we don't really have the strength to push through our situation or go on. That is definitely a time that you, you should think about fasting because when you do fast, you get a revival in your spirit. You have a revival in your faith because again, you're putting aside those things that weigh you down and that take away that time with God. And instead you replace that time with specifically prayer, worshiping God, all of that kind of stuff. Joel 2 12 says even now declares the Lord return to me with all your heart with fasting and weeping and mourning so that tells us right there in Joel 2 that again we are to turn our hearts back to God by fasting and by praying and that can put our hearts in the right direction because when you fast it can bring a lot of things to the center and the core of your heart because we know that God reveals the intentions of the heart and the heart is very wicked and deceitful above all things. So that is a really great way for God to bring, you know, light to light the things that were hiding in the dark before that you probably didn't know anything about. How to fast. So I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering, yes, I want to fast, but how do I actually fast? Like, how do I fast? I got you covered. So first off, when you want to fast, the first thing that you have to do um, is think about what it is that you want to give up. So a lot of the times in church when we were fasting, we were fasting from food. But I'm not a big food person as it is. I mean, look at me. I'm really tiny as it is. I really don't eat a whole lot of food. It does not have control over me. But when it comes to like being on my phone and social media, I'm all over it because that is a part of my purpose. So I'm constantly on there and a lot of the times... I'm trying to rush through prayer just so that I could check my emails and just so I could check my phone. And that is what I started to fast from personally. So think about what it is in your life that you feel like God is showing to you, that he's re really revealing to you, hey, this is something that is coming between us. This is something that you might want to think about fasting from. Then that is what you should be fasting from. Now, if you're thinking about fasting from food, the things that we literally fasted from, it was pretty much the Daniel fast, but we only ate like fruit, vegetables, beans, and rice, and we drank fruit juice. And I'm not talking about like, you know, um, juices that have sugar in them. I'm talking about fresh pressed juices that have no sugar added. The only sugar that you taste is literally from the actual fruit or from the actual vegetable. So you want to make sure that you're completely cutting out like breads and sugars, um, all of that kind of stuff. Daniel chapter 10 verse 3 says, I ate no choice food, no meat or wine touched my lips, and I used no lotions at all until the three weeks were over. If it's food, you fast for a certain number of days and you eat only, like I said, fruits, vegetables, and fruit juices, beans, and rice. Um, and prayer and fasting are often mentioned together in the Bible. So again, when you want to fast, think about what you're fasting from. If it's social media, stay off social media. And that time that you're used to spending on scrolling on your phone, use that time instead to journal, to pray, to praise God, to talk to God about your goals and your dreams. And, you know, spending that time hearing from God. If it's food that you're fasting from, then that time that you want to go sneak to the kitchen and grab a late night snack, you want to start praying to God like, God, I need you right now. I can't do this. I'm feeling really weak. I really want that cookie over there, but I know I'm not supposed to be eating sugar. Father, help me get through this. And he will definitely help you get through that. If you mess up, try again the next day. Don't beat yourself up and definitely don't quit your fast. Go all the way through. I don't know how many days you guys want to go for, but every time I would fast, it would be for 40 days, especially with like social media and with food. So I don't know specifically your certain amount of days, but it also just depends on if you're under authority or if you're just doing this something on your own. Definitely, um, go all the way in and don't give up like i said you guys fasting and prayer is all throughout the bible it is in the new testament 
Um, and they're oftentimes mentioned together, like in Acts chapter 13, 3, it said they had fasted and they had prayed. And in Luke chapter 2, verse 37, a widow worship day and night fasting and praying. So if you guys want to know any of this information that I went in this video, went over in this video, definitely check out BibleStudyTools.com on fasting and prayer. And it can definitely help you guys. It's literally everything I mentioned in this video on why you should fast and pray. You can come out on the other side stronger than you were going in. You have so much clarity. You are so much more healthier in your body because we know that this Disease comes from dis-ease in the body, so a lot of the times that mucus and stuff causes dis diseases and certain sicknesses in your body. Um, and so a lot of the times when you're fasting, it can literally heal you and rid all of that mucus. You're detoxing, you're clean, you're pure, your mind is at a good space, you come out feeling white as snow, nothing can bring you down and you just feel overall really amazing. So I truly hope that you guys think about fasting if you haven't already. I love you guys so much and hit that subscribe button and like button if this video was helpful to you and I will see you guys in another video. Mwah.